actually a small craft advisory for this area today, but that didn't stop lots of pleasure boaters and fishermen from enjoying this holiday out on the water today. That's why Texas game wardens have stepped up their patrols. The idea is to try and prevent any serious accidents. Our Bill Churchwell was invited to ride along and he has this report for us. And we are experiencing some windy and choppy conditions out here on Redfish Bay and these Texas game wardens are out on patrol to make sure everyone is staying safe this holiday. Hey folks, how are y'all? It's a friendly hello. Good, stay game warden, just gonna do a water safety check. Can I see life jackets for everyone on board? And a question that Texas game warden Laren Johnson says could make a big difference for your safety on the water. Life jackets, there's pretty much zero leniency. Wave them down. It's just another day on the job for John and her partner Albert Flores. We rode along to see them in action as they approached one boat after another. Hey folks, how are y'all? Fisherman Terry Hooper says he doesn't mind safety checks like this one. I mean, we always keep a life jacket, fire extinguisher, whistle, flares, uh, anything that we can do. We've been real fortunate we've never gotten stranded out here. Y'all just cruising? Yeah. All right. Can I take a look at three life jackets? Johnson says when they approach a vessel, it's not because the boater is doing something wrong, but rather making sure people are following the rules of the water. We're going to check for life jackets, other water safety equipment, as well as fish if they've been out fishing. Um, we're going to look at, you know, what kind of fishing regulations we can enforce. That includes commercial vessels like this shrimp boat. Hi. A quick check and the captain is clear to go. And when it comes to drinking and boating, it's just like driving a car. Not sure if there is alcohol on board or in your cups. Yeah, make sure whoever's operating is sober out here. We don't want any accidents this weekend. It's always a win for us when we get somebody home safe and back to their families. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Thank you.